Hey, what's up guys? Today I want to talk to you about the Polestar 2 battery electric vehicle. I've had it for about a month now, so I just want to give you a quick overview and then I'll do some separate videos about uh, road trips and some educational stuff. So this car is fully electric. It's got a dual motor setup with all wheel drive, 408 horsepower, 487 foot pounds of torque for a zero to 60 time of about 4.5 seconds. It can tow about 3,300 pounds if you want to. It does about 233 miles on a single charge with a 78 kilowatt hour battery. One thing that I like about it is the Pixel LED headlights. It's kind of cool. It uses 84 individual lights per headlight assembly to provide lighting that adapts to the environment and blocks out where other cars are. So that's kind of neat. Unfortunately, it's not legal in the US yet. So thanks government. Um, some of the other cool features about this that I really like is the overall build quality is excellent. It's really stylish. It does have a couple of goofy things that I'll kind of go over. Um, one thing that is pretty cool too is that the sound quality is amazing. It's got a nine band equalizer and it has a separate subwoofer equalizer, which I haven't seen in a lot of cars. It's excellent sound quality. It owes to Harman and Kardon setup that's calibrated by Durac processing. So everything comes together really nice and clean in this. Another thing that's pretty neat about this is even though it's got cloth fabric, um, it does have really good build quality. There is an option for perforated vegan leather seats that are ventilated, but unfortunately they, it only comes in a tan color. So we did not opt for that. It's got a map that it keeps on the main display, which is pretty cool, especially when you're using navigation so that you can use other apps on your center console display. Ergonomics are really nice. It's got two vents in the back seat, which is really nice. Another thing too is that it uses Google as an operating system. So it's got an app store that you can go to and download some apps. Some things aren't available yet because they have to be specifically built for the Polestar but it does have some other stuff like Tidal for music, which I love. It's got borderless mirrors, which look really nice in my opinion for the side view and rear view mirrors. One downside that I found is the cup holder situation. So it's got one main cup holder. Unfortunately, this slides over the front of it, so you kind of lose capability of the front one if you adjust the rest forward. The other issue is that the second cup holder is inside of this pocket. So if you're driving with a friend, you gotta kind of got to leave this open and then you really don't have anywhere to put your elbow. So what kind of things do you like best about the car? Honestly, I just like the aesthetic look of it. A lot of sharp edges, not really like a bubbly looking car. That's more of a personal opinion. I've never been a fan of the bubbly look. I like harsh edges on the cars. The sound system's incredible. Overall, I think it looks sweet. Like the way that they designed the outside of the car to make it look like an SUV, but it's the size of a car. Yeah, I think it looked kind of cool lifted. Yeah. Some aggressive tires on it. Two inch lift. <laughs> <laughs> I think it feels really solid. It does feel smooth. <laughs> I was not prepared for how much it was just gonna throw you back. Yeah, it fucking whips you back. Like, hard. What I like is that even on the freeway, if you need to pass, like, it still has some fucking go. Yeah. Even at, like, 75, 80 already. Like, yeah, I'm sure there's faster cars out there, but... I mean, this is just perfect. Like, what you need. It's not so fast you're gonna fly off and hit something. Yeah. <laughs> Mustang. Still has a little bit of pull from like 60 to 80. Yeah. What was that, 60 to 80 in like two seconds? Yeah. Less than that? The adaptive cruise control is pretty cool too. I'll turn it on. So, like right now it'll keep uh, distance from this car to the cars in front of us, but then, uh, can't really see it right here, but flipping it around, like, 
Did you see how it turned the wheel thing on? Yeah. So now as long as I just hold the wheel, it'll steer. Do you feel the steering in the steering wheel? Yeah, there's like micro adjustments, like right there. How it's kind of going back and forth. The electric motors really aren't as loud as Tesla's either. When you floor the Teslas, you can really hear it go... Like whining, huh? Yeah. Yeah, you don't hear this at all. But you can hear just very little. I like the open feel where it's kind of like you're... Kind of like a convertible, but not really. A convertible without fucking up your hair. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. The blinker sound sounds like a like a static pop. Yeah. I like the car companies are changing up the blinker noise. Kind of getting tired of it after twenty years. This thing handles like a fucking dream. Ooh. <laughs>